Lake Bear. And if you've never been out this way, come visit. Amen. And come visit us. <laughs> Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. This is where we uh, honor God, love families, serve others, and we pursue excellence. And we have a mission for uh, souls. Amen. We have a mission for, uh, let me see what I wrote it. We have a passion for God and we have a passion for souls. Amen. Mm -hmm. All of us should be have a passion for souls. Why? Because we're ministers of reconciliation. If God's your God, he says, he's, he, he has uh, called us to be ministers of reconciliation and bringing the lost to the world, of, of the lost from the world to him. Amen. So reconciling. Uh, we want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. Amen. So prepare yourself to receive. God has something for you. Amen. God is Amen. good. He always wants to bless us. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Allow God to uh, to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Amen. Today's message is going to be about Jesus being above all. Jesus mm -hmm. above all. You know, <laughs> when you start thinking about the world and its ways and its powers and, and all these things, Remember this, Jesus is above all. Yes, he is. Amen. We got we got some scripture for you. And we want you to know, as a child of God, there's nothing above God. Amen. He he is above all. Amen. So let me see. I have a couple of things I yeah, well before I get too much into that. Just prepare yourselves to receive. We're gonna make this declaration together. So grab your sword, soldier of God, and say it like you mean it. Amen. Yeah. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Your mind is always alert. That's why I, he says renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. Because if you don't, your mind's alert. And if it's not positive, it's going to be negative. Oh, yeah. So you gotta get it positive and you gotta get it get it in tune with him. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. By the Lord. <laughs> but above all, it says Jesus above all things. He is the great I am. Yes, he is. <laughs> Ain't nothing greater than the great I am. Amen. So praise God. We have a handout that's got all kinds of things about the great I am. He is above all. Greater, bigger than any problems, mm. any troubles, any cares that you have. So whatever it is, you know, if you still have it, it's because you haven't given it to him. Right. He says, cast it on me. You know, cast is not just hand it over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cast is throw it at him. Yes. And he says, I've got a mission for you, and I want you to cast all your cares on me today. Right. Amen. Because I care for you. Yes. And I want you to go and fulfill what I've called you to do. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So you're not going on your power. You're going with him. Amen. Amen. When David attacked uh, Goliath, you know, he knew his God was backing him. He said, he backed me up with the bear. He backed me up with the lion. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Man, let me at him. <laughs> That's what we need to do with our devils. Man, there's devils waiting for you. As soon as you walk out your door, there's devils waiting for you. Whatever it happens to be, a job, uh, a financial problem, whatever it happens to be. You know what? These giants are there all the time. And if you don't have one, we need to get you saved. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. He is above all. He's bigger than all your problems. Uh, says, let go and let, let Jesus, let God cast all your cares on him. And why? Because he cares for you. And he tells us exactly how he feels about us, you know. So we need to listen. Not only listen, but we need to obey. Be obedient, children. Amen. Woo, got a couple of readings I want to read at you. And it goes like this. It says, If you don't allow Jesus to help you, you will have these problems all your life. Uh -huh. And you know, hey, I don't want to be in that group over there. You know, this group that meets all the time. They're always talking about their problems. And you know what? It goes around, it goes around, and it comes back around. And the next one's got bigger problems. And the next one got bigger problems. And man, I can top that. That's nothing, you know. Well, <laughs> you're always going to have your problems if you allow yourself. And if you don't change, you're still going to have these problems. It says, but Jesus has already done and taken care of this. What we need to do is we need to receive this rest for ourselves. And we need to receive what God, what Jesus has already given us. Amen. Amen. Somebody gives you a gift, you got to receive it. If you don't receive it, what good is it? 
You got to be able to receive. You know, no, I'm not going there. Since God has already done His part, will you do yours? You need to do your part. You need to receive. And after you receive, you need to share. You need to go and say, man, you got to give full, stay full to overflow and go out and minister from the overflow. Mm -hmm. Amen. Man, there's a lot of people out there hungry. And we ain't giving them. Say, man, somebody needs to do something about this. Well, what about you, somebody? You're there, somebody. <laughs> oh, my God. You mean God wants to use me? Yeah. You know the world don't want you? Nobody <laughs> wants you. Everybody disqualifies you. But God says, I put you there to win. I put you there to do this mission right. for me. Yeah. When we get in tune with him, we find out how he feels about us. And then we need to feel that way about ourselves and press on with him. Not hope, not back. Uh, we were talking about this the other day. You know the armor of God? Everything's for the front. Nothing's for the back. Mm -hmm. So, as a child of God, there ain't no cowards. We got to press on because yeah. our protection is here. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Woo, don't throw nothing at me now. <laughs> uh, where was I? So let go and let God and cast it all on him. Uh, we have a scripture. Let me see what about Jesus above all. Keep going. Keep going. Jesus above all names. Ooh, these are all the names. You can find them. It's in the Bible. Amen. Everlasting Father. Power delivered. Keep going. Here we go. Matthew 28, uh, 28, 20. It says, I am with you always. It also tells us that Jesus came to serve, not to be served. That's it. Amen. He had a mission. And he was going to fulfill his mission. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we need to do the same thing. We need to stay in tune. You know, I was military for a long time. And you know, first thing we did before we go out and do any work is we have a meeting. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have a meeting before we go out and we get all in the same, the, the same, the same uh, uh, mindset, the same vision. Before we do anything, this is what we are going to accomplish today. Mm -hmm. This is, and, and we're all in tune. Nobody's out of control. Everybody's in tune, and there's a control place where you you check into. In case you forget, you know where to go. <laughs> if you get lost with God, you know you just go to God and say, "I'm here. Yeah. What is it? What do I do? What you want me to do?" Mm -hmm. Amen. You're always checking in with Him, and He's He with you. Amen. So I am with you when? Always. Always. Not all sometimes, you know. <laughs> Just because you're feeling lonely don't mean that uh, uh -huh. he's not with you. Right. Just because you're out doing what you ain't supposed to be doing don't mean that he ain't with you. He's with you. Amen. We just got to get in tune with him. Say, okay, Lord, keep going. This is where I want to be. Okay. Philippians uh, 2, 9 through 11. It says, wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is what? Above uh, every uh, name. Everything. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow mm -hmm. of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Mark it down. Go check it out. Amen. Mm -hmm. But it said every knee should bow. Amen. Mm -hmm. You think you get away with it? But eventually, time is going to come. Every knee is going to bow. Yes. Amen. <laughs> you will always have problems in your life, but they must not become your focus. Right. You know, it's why it's so important. You know, Matthew 6, uh, 30, 31 says what? 33 says what? Seek, Seek ye first the kingdom, the kingdom of God, God and his righteousness, right. and all these other things shall be added unto you. So you got to focus. You know, when he wakes you up, when he gives you a wake up call, mm -hmm. first thing you want to say is thank you. Because yes. he woke you up. Amen. And when you wake up, then you get in tune with him Amen. and start praising him and say, Thank you, Lord. This is the day you have given me. And I'm going to be sad. No. I'll be I'm going to rejoice and be glad. Be glad. Amen. Be glad. Amen. Well, you know, well, you know, it's whatever day, you know. You ain't pay no attention to it. No. He wants you to be rejoice and be glad in each and every day he's given you. He gave you a wake up call, so now we're in tune with him. So we need to press on with what he wants us to do. Yeah. What is it you want me to do? Mm -hmm. Amen. Check in the home base area. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> yes. Magnify God and not the problem. 
He's above all things. We got that reverse because we're always magnifying the problem. You know that group that's meeting over there? Yeah. Man, they're magnifying their problems. One is bigger than the next one. You know, and they just keep topping each other off. <laughs> I don't want to be in that group. I don't no. want to be in that group that's going to the left because God says go to the right. Mm -hmm. And you're in tune with God. He says go this way. He said, but everything, everybody's going this way. Go this way. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, go pray, go, go pray for Saul, you know. I want you to go lay hands on Saul. He's blind right now. And he's been praying. He's fasting. He said, I want you to go and I said, lay hands on him. <laughs> and 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 uh and, and uh he says, Oh no, haven't you heard? He go around killing Christians. Yeah. And you want me to go lay hands on him? Mm. I want you to go. Mm. <laughs> so he's gonna tell him some things. He said, Not me. Mm -hmm. He's picking me. Nobody ever picks me. You ever pick teams? Nobody want to pick you. <laughs> you want to play, but nobody wants you. <laughs> well, guess what? God wants you. <laughs> oh, my God. Praise God. <laughs> Magnify Him and not the problem. You know what? You're always going to have the problem. Yeah. So let's get this uh, magnifying thing right. Yeah. Magnifying Him first. Yes. He's above all things. When you feel yourself sinking in the sea of all these situations and, and that cause anxiety, scares, concerns, fears, problems, and troubles. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've been there, but I've been there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Philippians 4, 6, and 8 says this. Let me see if you got it there. If not, I'm going to read it to you. I've got it here. Philippians 4, and we're going to read uh, 6 through 8. King James says, be careful for nothing. In other words, he's saying, be anxious for nothing. Yes. We get anxious. Hey, man, you're the cowboys are on. Hurry up, Pastor. Man, we're anxious, you know. We're anxious about it. Hey, we're going to have something going on over here. We're anxious about it. Mm, when it comes to things of God. Oh, man. Forget it. <laughs> but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request yes. be made known to God. And 7 says, And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. And then 8 says this, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, yes. whatsoever things are just, yes. whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, praise think on these, these things. things. Yeah. Amen. He tells us, he tells yes. us what the prayer is about for, you know. So let's remember that. First of all, he says, cast it on me. Give it to me. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus says, I'll be there. I'll be there. That's before. That's long before the Beatles. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'll be there. I'm above all things. He says, Con confess it. When you confess his ways, I'll be there. Basically, his word says in Hebrews, we got it here somewhere, but he says, I never leave you, nor forsake you. That's it. So he ain't going anywhere. He's with you. Amen. Amen. He says, don't be discouraged, but be encouraged. Yes. Rejoice and be glad in this day uh -huh. I've given you. Why are you sad? You know, don't get yourself in those cares and concerns. Give it to him. Amen. Amen. I'm still worrying about these things. Uh -huh. Well, give it to him. Amen. Why are you holding on to it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't hold off to our old trash. Uh, <laughs> we get rid of it quick. Amen. Same thing with the sin. Same thing with the distraction. Get mm -hmm. rid of it. Yes. Don't, it says magnify him and not the problem, not the care. The Bible says you can do. I can't do this. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Lord, I need your strength. You know, I've said this before. You know how many times Jesus went to the Father on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. His mission was to be crucified mm -hmm. and to pay for the sins. Yes, yes. And I guarantee you, if he went to the Father daily and mm -hmm. says, I need your strength, Father. Mm -hmm. What about us? Mm -hmm. And we don't even go through what he went through. Oh my God. Say, Lord, I need your strength mm -hmm. daily. Help me, help me. None of us are perfect. That's it. Amen. <laughs> oh, praise God. He says, I'll be there. I know your weakness. I meet you there. Emotions can run very high and paralyzing at some points. Mm. The loss of strength and loss of control can happen due to carrying all these extra weights. Mm -hmm. We got to get rid of all these extra weights. I yes. wrote it this way, extra cares, extra weights, mm -hmm. extra situations, mm -hmm. all 
around with you, you got to let him go. Yes, Amen. Amen. You got to give it to him. Cast it on him. He says, cast, give. It's not for you. I didn't make these things. I didn't put these things on you. I don't want these things on you. I want you to be carefree mm -hmm. so you can go and do what I want you to do. Yes. That's Amen. Amen. First Peter 5, 6, and 8. In the, well, got in the Amplified. So, kind of bear with me here. All means what? All. Mm -hmm. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. Set aside right self-righteous pride oh. so that he may exalt Yes. To a place of honor in his service mm -hmm. at the appropriate time. Mm -hmm. It says, casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, mm -hmm. all your concerns, once and for all, on him. Yes, mm -hmm. You can't tell us any simpler than that. Yes, yes. Give it to him. Thank and you're still dying. Yes. Why are you you're still having problems? Why? Mm -hmm. Because you're still dying. Mm -hmm. So you got you have to give it up. Yes. <laughs> For he cares about you with deepest affection mm -hmm. and he watches over you very carefully. Yes. I guarantee you, he gave uh, well. Be sober, verse 8 says, be sober, well balanced, self disciplined, and clear headed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wrote that in there. <laughs> be alert and caution all times because the enemy of yours, mm -hmm. the enemy of yours, he's telling us. Yes. Who the enemy is? Yes. Okay, and this is not the enemy. The hubby? No. Is not your enemy. <laughs> the wife is not your enemy. Your mother-in-law is not your enemy. <laughs> your boyfriend, girlfriend? No. 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 Your no. neighbor is not your enemy. Yes. Your co-worker? Not, not your enemy. enemy. I have to put them all for you. Oh, your boss? Uh, he's not your enemy. Your co-worker is not your enemy. I don't go to church because of a certain church member. Oh, gee. A church oh, member Jesus. is not your enemy. That's and it. I don't go to church there because pastor, mm. <laughs> pastor mm. is not your enemy. <laughs> Let me tell you what the Word of God says, okay? Mm. And nobody ever told you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what the Word of God says. It says, that enemy of yours, uh -huh. the, devil. the devil, I highlighted it, I bolted it, and mm. underlined it. So I'll make sure. Mm -hmm. It says, the enemy of yours, the devil. None of their mother showed up. Just the devil. Just the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Says prowls around like a roaring lion. Yes. Fiercely, mm -hmm. severely, viciously, hungry, mm -hmm. seeking someone to devour. That's it. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. Don't let it be you. Cast it on Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's above all things and he knows what to do. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is be obedient. Yes. And let it go. You know? Um, seeking who he may devour. You know how he knows who to devour? The words you speak. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your words and your actions. Yes. He knows. So mm -hmm. he comes in. What do we do? We open mm -hmm. the door yes, and he, he comes did. right in. He comes well, right how, did he, in. how did he come in? Mm -hmm. What you said, mm -hmm. your actions. They open the door and he walked right in. Mm -hmm. Man, he didn't, he didn't have to knock it down. He just walked, he walked in. in. He's seeking somebody to destroy. He does that all the time. So we have to be careful. He knows He knows all your weaknesses. He knows all your shortcomings. We don't use that word too much. Shortcomings says inadequacies, faults, deficiencies, faults. Amen. He knows all the weak things about you. All, all, all the shortcomings about you. He knows your failures. Failures, disappointments, disasters. Mm. Letdowns, mm. your fiascos. Mm. We don't use that word much. <laughs> all your fiascos, <laughs> all your failures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. He knows all these things, mm -hmm. but he says, still loves you more, mm -hmm. and he loves you the most. Yes. And who we try to keep it from? We try to keep it from him, mm -hmm. like he don't know. Right. <laughs> yeah. So we're holding on. Mm -hmm. Why are you holding on? You've been holding that for a long time, mm -hmm. and I've been knowing about this, but he can't come against your will. That's it. You have to confess it. You mm -hmm. have to give it up. Yeah. Amen. When you give it up, you'll destroy it. Yeah. Yeah. But we can't hold on to it. Mm -hmm. We're containers, but we don't want to contain the wrong things. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. John 6, uh, 16, 33, New King James says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me, in the capital, mm -hmm. you may have peace. In this world you will have tribulations. Mm -hmm. Be of good cheer. I have overcome, overcome. the world. 
Amen. The world's going to throw their best shot at you. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're going. They go. The enemy comes to do what? John 10:10. 10, 10, steal, kill, and destroy. And he's going to use anybody that's mm -hmm. not of God. He's going to use anything and everyone that is not of God. He's going to use against you. And uh, mm -hmm. in the uh, John 16:33 in the Expanded Bible says this: I told you these things so that you can have peace in me. Mm -hmm. In this world, you will have troubles. Yes. You will have persecution, sufferings. But be brave. Take courage. I have defeated. I have victory over, conquered, uh, overcome the world. Mm -hmm. He can do it. He says we can do all things mm -hmm. through Christ. Right. Yes. Amen. And in, 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 in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1, in the Amplified, he says to be uh -huh. imitators of God. To be copied. It says copy him. You know, like a child copies a father. He copy him and be like him. Mm -hmm. Amen. So... Amen. It says, so I can do all things through Christ. Yeah, remind yourself. Remind yourself the word of God. Confess the word. Speak it out. Don't just read it and keep it. You got to speak it out. Mm -hmm. Jesus, uh, God spoke the word, this world into existence. Mm -hmm. He says, the, word, the words that I speak, they go out and accomplish what I send them out to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. But it'll work for us too. It's the yes. word of God you're confessing. Mm -hmm. So that's going to bless you. Amen. Well, that's going to yeah. do whatever you send it out to do. Yes. Amen. In heaven on earth. Praise God. Uh, 1 John 4, 4, New King James. Mm -hmm. says, you are God, little children, and you have overcome them. Because he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Even David knew this. Man, he attacked that child. Man, mm -hmm. he knew who's backing him. Do mm -hmm. you know who's backing you? Yes. If you know God is backing you, don't shut down. It's, it. it's time to press on. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And press on. Yes. Amen. Because the world, things, distractions are going to try to stop you. And the yes. enemy's going to see yes. to it. He says mm -hmm. in John 10 10, but he says, Jesus says, I've come that you might have you might life have and have it more abundantly. abundantly. Amen. As we pursue and, yes. and, and, and do what he's called us to do. Mm -hmm. First John 5 5 in the New King James says, Who is he? Who overcomes the world? Mm -hmm. He says, "But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God, uh -huh. Amen. Amen. So yes, you can overcome the ways of the world. You can overcome this world and its ways. And mm -hmm. We we can we can do this, Amen. Matthew eleven twenty eight to uh, thirty says this in the King in New King James: Come to me, all. All means mm -hmm. you. <laughs> all means me. It says, come to me, all." Who labor in a heavy laden, mm -hmm. and I will give you rest. Yes. yes, he's telling us. You know, we go find rest in something to drink or mm -hmm. something uh, to get high on. You know, mm -hmm. we'll get high on the Most High. Yes, yes. you know, no side effects. No Amen. Side <laughs> we find <laughs> we we, no, we, we find all kind of things mm -hmm. to find rest in, mm -hmm. except Jesus. He says, "I will give you rest." Rest. Oh. Amen. It says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Mm -hmm. And me is in capital letters here. Mm -hmm. For I am gentle and lowly in heart. Mm -hmm. And you will find rest for your souls. Mm -hmm. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Mm -hmm. Amen. So yeah. ooh, we got to get in tune with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Serve him, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let yeah. go and let God. Everyone knows, but won't do it. <laughs> Everybody knows, but they won't do it. Mm. Amen. We need to be obedient. That's one of the things Amen. about us. We need to know to obey what Amen. God tells us to do. Yes. If God has told you, then put it down. Mm. If God has told you, set it down. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Don't pick it up again. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Don't take it back. Mm. Hmm. Don't go back to the same old thing that tripped you. Mm -hmm. Sin, care, problems, troubles, mm -hmm. bad habits, bad company. Oh boy. I've been invited back to the old company. Mm -hmm. And I says, no thanks. You know, when you got born again, you lost some friends. But God brought new friends. Amen. He knows. And those friends are there for a season. Some short season, some mid, mid season, some for long, all, all the way. But they're there for you and they're praying for you. A lot of times you don't see them, but they're praying for you. 
and they're for you. They support, they, su they support you. Let go and let God. He's above all. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Mm -hmm. Amen. Joy. And you said nothing about sadness. That's it. Said nothing about pouting. Said nothing about <laughs> trying to do anything else. Complaining. No, God. That's not going to help you. That's it. It's not good. He says, give it to me. Mm -hmm. You know, give it to me. You know, some of us, we need to put a smile on our face and joy in our face. <laughs> You frown too long, you know. You frown too long. If we reverse it, you know, it might just break off, you know. <laughs> says, let your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. And I wrote it this way, in another way. Here it says, I read it to you earlier, but it says, don't let your past people or their words stop your destiny God has for you. Yeah, don't let someone who gave up on their dreams talk you yeah. out of yours. That's and then it. this one says, don't let people pull you into their storm. Yeah, yeah. You pull them into your peace. That's it. Amen. Uh -huh. Pull them into your peace. Have peace about you. Yeah. The greater one is in you. You know, you have the peace that you can give to let them know. How come you're always smiling? How come you're always peaceful? Mm -hmm. Because the greater one is in me. And you can share it with them, you know, yeah, let them know. Yeah. They ask yeah. you, so I'm going to let you know. Mm -hmm. I love Jesus, he loves me, and the greater one is in me. Yes, you know, yes. That's why I always have peace. Mm. That's why I'm always this way, you know. And you can have the same thing. Why don't you ask Jesus in your heart right now? Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> don't wait for somebody else. Mm -hmm. God put you at the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you passed up. Mm -hmm. Don't pass it up. up an you know, somebody came to you, somebody shared with you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Now you go and do the same. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Let your smile change the world. Don't let the, the, the world change your smile. Mm -hmm. Bring them into your peace. Don't let them drag you into their troubles. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. You know, when you, you, after you're born again, you can go straight to Him. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go to nobody else. You know, I don't want to go share my problems with you. And you got, well, I can't help you because I got bigger problems than you. That's nothing. <laughs> you think you got problems. Mm. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2 says this. Where are we? Keep going. That's the last one. Okay. It says Hebrews 12, 1 and 2 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded with such great cloud of witnesses. Uh -huh. You got a great cloud of witnesses in heaven cheering you on. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to a, a football game, basketball game, you go, man, there's people all around. Oh, yeah. But they're not magnifying God. Yeah, they're right. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have a crowd of witnesses, heroes, cheering you on. Says, come on, you can make it. You can do it. Who by faith have testified to the truth of God's mm -hmm. absolute faithfulness. Stripping off every unnecessary weight and the sin which so easily and cleverly entangles us. Mm -hmm. Let us run with endurance and yes. determination the race that is set before us. Amen. We got to press on, child of God. We got to press on. You know, hey, we can't hold back. It's right there. For, and it's, it's for us. And we can do all things through Christ. Oh. Looking away from... Uh, all the uh, distractions mm -hmm. that come against us. Amen. Focusing our eyes on Jesus. Mm -hmm. Get your eyes off the world. Get your eyes off of the distractions. Get your eyes on Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Get your eyes on Jesus who is the author and perfecter of our faith. Yeah. The first incentive for our beliefs and the one who brings our faith mm -hmm. to maturity. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're maturing on a daily basis. You know, we're climbing and climbing. And we're maturing in the things of God. It says, study to show yourself approved. Get the word in you. Yes. Amen. It says, and then out of your innermost being shall flow rivers yep. of living water. Amen. When you get that word in you, man, it's got to come out. Yeah. Amen. It's got to come out. I used to use a Coke can with the children when we were teaching children. You see what happens when we uh, shake this uh, can or this oh, bottle? Yeah. You open it up, man. We just do that to one another, man. We get Coke all over ourselves, you know. <laughs> But there's a child of God, man. Stir yourself up. He says, stir yourself up. Don't wait for somebody to stir you up. Stir yourself up. Yeah. And when you get all stirred up in God, guess what? God's got to come out of you. Mm. The Word's got to come out of you. Mm. And you, what do you do? You share it. Mm. 
Amen. I mean, I used to share the coke with somebody else, you know. <laughs> but we share the word and stir ourselves up, you know. We wait for somebody to stir us up, you know. What do we go to a stadium for? We go to stir up our teams, you know. Yeah. Cheer them on. Well, you cheer yourself up and stir yourself up and go do what God wants you to do. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, even if you by yourself. But you're not by yourself. He's with you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen to this. Who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him uh, endured the cross, disregarding the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, a place of authority. Remember, he went through some shame. We haven't been through any shame like he went through. Amen. He was stripped. He was whipped. He was spit on. He was all kinds of bad things and his mom is here you know and, and he got poked on the side you know but he didn't die then until he gave up the ghost amen until he told the father says forgive him and the robber next to him <laughs> coming to the kingdom of god you know he says this is a man of god the other one's still mocking him you know and the other one says no you know he says remember me he says you'll be with me in paradise Amen. So he ain't forgot about you. We forget about him. No. We always think the problem is up there. The problem is right here. Yeah. We gotta fix this problem. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he says, he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, revealing his deity, his authority, interceding for us and the completion of his work. Mm -hmm. Amen. So not only do we have a crowd of witnesses praying for us, witnessing for us, cheering us on. Jesus is interceding for us. Amen. You know, if he's praying for us, we can't do this. I mean, you just got to get the right mindset. You got to get your priorities right and start thinking the way he wants you to think. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're just thinking like the world and we lose all the time. Hebrews 5, uh, 13, 5 and 6 <clears throat> says, I'm just going to go to uh, B, B part here. It says, so we can boldly say the Lord is oh, excuse me. He says, uh, for he himself said this. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He gave his word. He says, I'm never going to leave you nor forsake you. We walk away from him. He don't walk away from us. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, sometimes I hear witnesses and I hear people and I know I know better, but they always say, Hey, I found Jesus. Really? He didn't know he was lost. I didn't know he was lost. <laughs> he was not lost. I was lost. Mm -hmm. Amen. I was lost. And I accepted Christ in my life, you know. But he was never lost. Mm -hmm. He says, For he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. So we can boldly say, verse 6 says this, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't fear men who can take your life. Mm -hmm. But fear the one who can take your life and your soul. And your soul yeah. Amen. Right. No. <laughs> in the right fear. <laughs> in, in a, respectfully. Let me read it to you from the Amplified. It's long. It says, let your character, your moral essence, your inner nature be free from the love of money. Shun greed. Be financially ethical. It says, being content with what you have. Mm -hmm. For he has said, I will never, under any circumstances, desert you, nor give up, nor leave you without support. Nor will I in any degree leave you helpless. Nor will I forsake or let you down or relax my hold on you. Surely not. And verse 6 says, so we take comfort and are encouraged and confidently say, the Lord is my helper in time of need. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? Yes, amen. Amen. That's the amplified question. That's mm -hmm. long. <laughs> so we want to seek the true and living God. Yes. Why? Because he's above all things. Yes. And we can remember this on a daily basis. He's above all. So why do we go to anything else but him? That's it. That's amen. Why go to anything else? Mm -hmm. Everything else is temporal. Yes. <laughs> Temporary. Yes. He is permanent. Amen. And he is above all. Second Timothy 1 and 6 says this. Therefore, 
I remind you to stir yourself up or stir up the gift of God, yeah. which is in you through the laying on of hands. Uh -huh. Every one of us, we can stir ourselves up. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I'm just want to encourage you. You know, don't wait for somebody to stir you up. I that's mean, it's it. okay that's for it. us to encourage one another, mm -hmm. and that's what we do. We assemble ourselves together so we can come and encourage one another. Mm -hmm. Amen. But this is not the battlefield right here. Amen. If you come to fight at the church, well, that's that's not the right place. There's a door. <laughs> there's a door, yeah. When you hit the door, there's battlefields waiting on you. The enemy is waiting for you. That's the battlefield. Amen. And uh, you, you you need to be stirred up. If you ain't stirred up when you hit that door, somebody going to stir you up in the wrong way. Right. <laughs> and you're going to do and say the wrong things. So you're going to stir yourself up before him, you know. Amen. He says, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, you, Lord. you know, I just want to. I know that I can do all things through you, Lord. Mm -hmm. But I need your strength, you know, as I go out, you know, and do mm -hmm. what you want me to do. Amen. <laughs> the easy to read. I'm going to read it to you in the easy to read version. It says, this is, this is why I want you to remember the gift God gave you. Mm -hmm. God gave you that gift when I laid my hands on you. Now, I want you to use that gift and let it grow more and more. Like a small flame grows into a fire. Yes. So you're going to stir yourself up. Mm -hmm. Amen. And let that fire of God in you. And let that fire go out of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So don't keep just a little flame, mm -hmm. you know. Or don't let that flame go out, you know. Mm -hmm. You got to feed it, you know. Feed on yes. the word. Feed on the word. Amen. Yes. The Bible says that we're tribe-in, you know, we're, we have a spirit, you feed the, the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Feed yourself the Word. We have a soul, mind, will, and emotion. Mm -hmm. Amen. What do we do? Renew our mind with the Word of God. Because the world is going to try to bring it down mm -hmm. and change your ways. Amen. So, remember that. But we and we have a body. We gotta crucify the body, the flesh, you know, mm -hmm. because the flesh wants to do all the easy stuff, oh, yeah. all oh, the yeah. comfy stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, what time the game on? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote this. It says, "Stay hungry, mm -hmm. thirsty for more of Him, Amen. and stay on fire for Him." Mm -hmm. Amen. Wherever you go, mm -hmm. stay on fire. If you don't stay on fire, you know. The world's going to put your fire, oh, your little yeah. flame out in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. Amen. It. Man, it. you can't put out my fire. You know, might try to put out my flame, mm -hmm. but you can't put out my fire. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's uh, a choice you have to make. Yes. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Woo. Praise God. <laughs> I want to read a couple more to you and then uh, we'll close here. Yeah. Matthew 6, 33. Mm -hmm. And the King James, and then I'll read it to you from the uh, easy to read version. Matthew 6, 33, and this is as we get our priorities ready on, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Matthew 6, 33 and 34 says this, But seek first the kingdom of God, His righteousness, and all these things will be added on to you. Mm -hmm. And then He tells us in 34, it says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Yes, it says, is. sufficient for the day, oh. sufficient for the, the day. For the day it's its own trouble. Amen. And now this is, uh, mm -hmm. that was New King James. Uh, the uh, easy to read version says this. What you should want most in, in God's kingdom is doing what he wants you to do. Yes. What do I do in God's kingdom? Do what he wants you to do. Mm -hmm. Then he will give you all these other things you need. Mm -hmm. He will give you all these other things. He'll bless you. And 34 says, don't worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Right, yeah. It says tomorrow will have its own worry. Oh, yeah. You know, you're multiplying it. You know, you're worrying about tomorrow, the next day, mm -hmm. next week, next month, next year. Mm -hmm. And you're just multiplying all your worries. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, what do I do? Mm -hmm. Well, do what the Word of God tells yeah. you to do. Amen. Yeah. Just give it to Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And one day at a time. That's a beautiful song. Yes. And just one day at a time. How do you climb the ladder? One step mm -hmm. at a time. One day at a time. And he says, take this day. He says, rejoice and be glad in it. Because yes. I'm giving you this new day. Amen. And that's what we need to do. No, no. He says, nothing about the next days. He says, don't worry about them. Mm -hmm. Amen. They got enough worries. Don't bring it on. Don't multiply it on yourself. No Amen. Amen. Again, Peter, 1 Peter 5, 7 says, casting all cares on him where he cares for you. Mm -hmm. 
That's in the New King James. New, uh, New Living Translation says, give. Uh, New King James says, casting. Mm -hmm. New Living Translation says, give all your worries and cares to God mm -hmm. because He cares about you. Hopefully, we, we're catching this. We give it is we got it. We got to give it. Psalm fifty five and twenty two says this: Give, cast your burdens to the Lord because He cares about you. Mm -hmm. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. Right. Amen. So let's remember this. I hope you. Uh, I hope you uh, learn something. <laughs> Amen. He wants us to. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just uh, stop right there. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And remember this as we close. Jesus is above all. Yes, he is. Nothing, nothing else can take his place. Nothing else can take his place. Right. Amen. So let's remember that. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He is with you at all times. You can call on him any time. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he'll come and he, he's with you. He never leaves you nor forsake you. Amen. Did you get something? Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Those of you who are watching, those of you listening, if you have never asked Jesus in your heart, now's the time. You know, don't put it off any longer. He's above all. So whatever you're going through, He's above all that. Yes, He is. But you're still holding on to it. You got to give it to Him. You know, you just got to give it to Him and then say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what He's going to do? He's going to come and be your Lord and Savior. Now you need to do is change your ways. Change your life. Get your Bible. Start reading the Word. Get it in you, so you can start growing in the things of God, so that you can go and do what He wants you to do. Amen. He's got something for you. He's called you to be a winner, to be a champion, and to be an overcomer. Amen. He didn't call you to be in a in a cult pen, you know, like the prodigal son, or be a loser. Right. Amen. Amen. Or be homeless. You know, He wants you to be somebody. Amen. You're a winner. See yourself the way He sees you. Amen. Praise Amen. God. If you have sickness in your body. Just speak to it. Speak the word. It says, Lord, I receive your healing. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. Mm -hmm. No malfunctions in this body. Every organ, tissue, muscle in this body functions to the perfection God created to function. So I receive my healing. And I got to tell my body, say, body, receive your healing yes. now. Praise God. Amen. The sickness. Yes. I rebuke the spirit of sickness. I command it to go in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. See yourself healed and well in Jesus' name. Woo. Hallelujah. Time to give. Go to our website. She's got it on the screen there. NBCBigBand.com. Hit that donate button. And uh, if you mail in it, NB, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And Cash App, New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God loves you. We love you. God bless you. Amen. Remember, Jesus is above all.